hi this is going to be a reading for Aquarius Aquarius let's do a love reading for you shall we okay let's do it so I have a new deck and I'm so excited <laughs> look at this deck I'm so excited about it it's beautiful I got it um, from an Etsy shop called V love crystals and I just I just filmed a review for the deck that's how much I <laughs> loved it when I got it and you know you guys I buy lots of decks um, but this one, she, she put so much love into the deck and sending it to me. Um, the packaging is beautiful. So I felt guided to do a review. Um, yeah, so, but, oh, oh you guys are going to love this. So it gives you, like, character traits about your person. Yeah, I know. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, <laughs> so, so. We're going to use that to get some juicy little tidbits about what your character like looks like, um, their age. It's got like all sorts of different cards like about, okay, so we just, we're just going to jump right in. <laughs> I'm excited. All right. So this is for Aquarius. We're going to do everything for you, Aquarius. Oh, I forgot my little bell to clear your guys' space. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I should probably go get it, but well, you're, you guys are the first reading I'm doing. So I don't really need to worry about clearing your space. I will, I'll get it when I do, when I do the next reading. Okay, Aquarius reading now for Aquarius. Ooh. I don't know why this, my Light Sears deck is really hard to shuffle lately. This camera's really close to me. Let me move it back just a bit. Is that better? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's get, let's do eight cards for Aquarius, please. What does Aquarius need to know? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Cups. Feels to me like you guys got some new feelings of love coming in. And if to verify that, <laughs> Knight of Cups comes out right next to Queen of Cups. That's crazy, crazy. Four of Swords. Some healing work there. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles energy. So we got Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. There's a lot of balancing going on here, Aquarius. Very, very nice. So you're learning to balance those. Oh my God, look at that. Giving and receiving of love. Okay, so there's a lot of balancing. I'm going to I'm gonna draw two more cards, but I wanted to talk about these two cards. So we have Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. So you're learning to balance your business side, your financial side, manifestation all of those things with healing also with queen of cups so learning to sort of go out of that queen of swords energy and into queen of cups which is being able to be more open with your emotions that's a beautiful thing some of you may have a new relationship coming in or your relationship, if you are in a relationship, is going to take a, oh, yes, because we have counterparts and we got the King of Cups. It's going to take a step into a, in a new direction of, um, I was going to say commitment, but I mean, it. they keep saying like a higher level, a higher level of love, if that makes sense. Okay, it's like that Whitney Houston song. Give me a higher love. Hmm. But we have counterparts here. For those of you that are in a relationship, your partner is extremely romantic. We got the Knight of Cups. We got King of Cups. So this is two people perfectly suited to each other. We have counterparts here. But it's interesting because... 
they see you as queen of pentacles. So they see you as like someone who's very independent, someone who is financially stable, someone who's created their own empire. Um, we got six of pentacles. It came out between the queen of pentacles and the king of cups. So they see you as someone who's very balanced. Like the six of pentacles is about giving and receiving energy, right? So they see you as someone who has um, that part of your life balance. Like, do you see that? Is that an orb? I just saw, I just saw something over here in this area. So if you guys are watching, go back and we, we watch it at like 542 and tell me if you saw it right here too. <laughs> I saw it. That was awesome. Okay, so we have, I got distracted. We have counterparts. We have King of Cups, Queen of Cups. So in this relationship, you guys, oh, there's a ladybug flying around. That's good luck for you, Aquarius. So for those of you that are in a relationship, can we get one last card for Aquarius, please? For those of you that are in a relationship, this is a positive, balanced relationship. There's equal give and take in it. Oh, the high priestess. Wow, that's a beautiful energy. So we have Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords, High Priestess. You've done your work. You've done your spiritual work. You've done... what you needed to do to get to this point. I see a lot of heavy spiritual work, spiritual healing, shadow work. You've done a lot of work, Aquarius. Damn, good job. Because we have four of swords, which is this, which is this energy of, sorry, I can't talk today, which is this energy of, um, healing, going within, learning about yourself, meditating, literally um, going within to find answers, not looking outside of yourself, not going to a spiritual guru, trusting you. And this high priestess energy shows me that you've been using your, using your intuition um, a lot more. And we got the Queen of Pentacles, which shows me you got your money right. <laughs> but the Queen of Cups shows me that you your emotions are also balanced and in check. So this is a beautiful energy. So the person that's coming in, if you guys, for those of you that are single, very romantic. They came out as the Knight of Cups. And also as the King of Cups. Now be careful because sometimes the King of Cups can be a little bit wishy-washy. Um, but I feel like with the with the Knight of Cups, it might be a little bit more balanced. Uh, might be a little bit of a more balanced energy. Is what I meant to say. Okay. So I'm going to draw from the Gypsy Witch deck. Do two cards from this. We will do two from the Love Oracle. Two from the Romance Angels. And then we're going to dive into the Who Oracle for you. Okay. Either way, you guys are perfectly suited to each other. So for those of you Aquariuses that are in a relationship right now or just starting something out, we literally got Queen of Cups and King of Cups. There's Ace of Pentacles, so it's not a shitty energy. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys are both... Um, financially stable because we got six of pentacles and ace of pentacles one more for Aquarius please okay so we have number 42 it says amour which is love amour is a sign that someone is looking at you with great love and longing that's beautiful <laughs> I told you Cupid's arrow is shot so <clears throat> for those of you single Aquariuses someone has definitely noticed you Okay, take it as it resonates. You won't be single for long. Number 36, the cat indicates flattery. 
So, like I said, this Knight of Cups energy shows me already. This person is very romantic. You know, I call it the White Knight energy. You know, they like to come in on their horse with their flowers and rescue the princess. <laughs> we all know we don't need rescuing, right? It's just a metaphor. But that's the energy. Like, they believe that they can save the princess but they come in they're very romantic and sentimental and sweet and they're the type of energy that would throw you a picnic and blah 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 so this card says it does indicate flattery so be careful not to be just like seduced with sweet words make sure they're putting their action where you know their mouth is okay make sure that their actions are matching what's coming out of those silver lips okay Aquarius good all right, so we're going to move on to the Love Oracle. Let's see what you got going on. All right, Aquarius, can we get two cards for Aquarius, please? Aquarius. Reading now for Aquarius, please. Spirit team, what you got for my beautiful Aquariuses? My air signs. Mm. You guys are air, right? I think so, yes. Ooh, ex-lover. What the deuce? They're called axes for a reason, Aquarius. Don't get, don't go down that route. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Crossroads. We're going to throw one more. Mm. Mm -mm. We got proposal. You cannot make it up. <laughs> okay. So we have ex lover. Now you're going to have to use your discernment. I mean, if it's an ex lover coming in and they're all sweet talky or whatever, you're going to have to make the decision. You, you, okay. You're going to have to make the decision whether or not you want to trust this person, let them back in your life. Excuse me. Excuse me. You'll be able to tell from their energy field where they're at. Read their aura. If it still feels the same, if their energy still feels the same, by all means. I mean, cut, cut your losses, okay? So for some of you, it might be an ex-lover trying to come back in your life. For some of you, there's just going to be an ex-lover that's going to be creating trouble for you. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you got this proposal. So for those of you, you know this reading is for you. You know that you're in a relationship with someone and you're not, you're here just because maybe you feel like there's something has shifted or whatever. Oh yes, it has definitely shifted <laughs> because that's what's coming next. So whoever's energy I'm reading for you and your person, it's definitely not, it's, it's definitely not a crappy energy. I see them being financially stable, um, you know, big D energy, <laughs> Um, we have crossroads here. So it feels honestly like Aquarius, when this moment comes in, this proposal comes in, you might be a little shocked and you might not know if this is the path you want to take or not. And like I said, I always um, suggest you follow your own heart. So the crossroads is just about coming to a point in your life where you know you have to make some serious decisions which are going to affect your future. So that's all it means, Aquarius. Resist the urge to run away. <laughs> A lot of signs are getting proposed to this month. Or like in the month, I feel like not in March, but like in the month of April. Gemini got the same thing, proposal. Oh shit, hold on. Okay. So I was shuffling. And this came out. It flew and hit the floor. <laughs> it says reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So for some of you, it will be that ex-lover. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You're going to have to use your discernment if you want them back in your life or not. I mean, people can change. So, I mean, maybe y'all just broke up, but, you know, you broke up on, on good terms. Nope. <laughs> Nope. So the reconciliation must be for like, it says someone from your past is returning to your life. So this must be like a deep 
soul connection. Your guys' souls know each other. Because the next card that came out is this. Release your ex. <laughs> so this ex lover card. <laughs> now it's going to be different for all of you. But I suggest. See. <laughs> it says release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So for those of you that you know that's for. that that's You're going to know. <laughs> Listen to the universe. Or don't. I don't care. <laughs> Last card for Aquarius. Unrequited love. Wow. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So, honestly, this feels like it could be this whole energy of why you released the ex. Maybe that's why you, like, you're, you know, like, there's no, there's no chance it's going to work out. Because you, there is nothing there. You're just like, nope, nope. So that's what it feels like to me. Um, I don't think, you know, you're going to get a proposal and you have this deep soul connection and it's because of unrequited love. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so this is definitely in relation to this um, release your ex, all of this stuff. So I wouldn't worry about that energy, Aquarius. All right. We're going to do, for those of you that are single or for those of you that are even, you know, maybe you're dating someone. Or you're kind of like in and out with someone. You're not seriously dating them. But you are seeing someone. We're going to do this. Okay. Aquarius. Excuse me. So much releasing today. I keep burping. We're going to do the Who Oracle deck that I just bought from Be Love Tarot. I'm so excited. All right. Let me cut these babies real quick. Okay, so can you give us some character traits for Aries? Why did I say Aries? Aquarius' person, please. We'll do four of these cards. Four, four, four. Four, four, four. <laughs> Ooh, we have screen time. <laughs> so the next person that you Netflix and chill with, Aquarius. <laughs> It says screen time. Problem solver. See? Screen time. So to me, this feels like y'all eating popcorn together, Netflix and chilling, if you know what I mean. Netflix and chilling. <laughs> Hanging out. Watch. Maybe maybe they're going to invite you to a movie, Aquarius. I don't know. So take that how it resonates. The next person that you watch a movie with, There you go. Th these are hints. This is your person. <laughs> All right. It says they're a good problem solver. Look at that. It's always good to have a man or a woman that can problem solve. For real. Sometimes we need someone to, you know, go to when we need advice and shit. You know what I mean? Two more cards. Ooh, light hair. <laughs> so take how it resonates. I don't know. It might be blonde. It might be light brown. I'm going to show you the card in a minute. One last card. What does Aquarius need to know? Oh, wow. Okay. So we have light hair. See, it's kind of like a, I don't know, it looks like a sunny, sunny blonde. And then we have a dark complexion. What an interesting and beautiful combination, right? Mm. Very nice. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Aquarius. It was so much fun to do. I love this deck already. <laughs> I love it. So I hope this resonated for some of you. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to book a reading with me. All you got to do is hit that little arrow. My description box will pop up. It's got all of my prices. Check out my Etsy shop, my Lemurian Love Decks on sale. If you feel so guided to, check out my son's channel. He works really hard and he's an awesome little guy. Um, I think that's it. For those of you that tip me, that like my videos, that share my videos, that are subscribed to my channel. You guys rock. Um, I, I cannot thank you enough. Like, you know, how much I just appreciate all of your support and love. Okay, bye, queers. Mwah.